All right, so that's locked. Even if even if that door, even if these doors weren't locked, I would just break through the window. Those um, <laughs> those landmines are a complete waste of time. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Seven Days to Die modded series. Today we are back with Ravenhurst. Finally, guys, finally. Um, 3.0 is out. It's not quite out for you guys yet. It will be coming out on Monday. Uh, but us streamers got a little little taste, a little bit of an early uh, start. And um, I played it a little bit on stream today. It's freaking awesome. I'm going to go over some of the main talking points, the update notes that I found most interesting. Um, there's a lot more to it, but this is the main stuff that I was looking at. There's tons of towns, okay? I went into the, the random gen previewer and there was towns everywhere. Like, you walk out of one town, you trip, fall, boom, you're in another town. It's freaking awesome. There's towns everywhere. Uh, there's also storage progression, but not only storage progression, but you can actually pick up storage items and bring them back to your base, like backpacks and um, purses and coolers and stuff like that. Um, here's, here's the most interesting part, in my opinion, with this new update. The trader only spawns in cities... And he's no longer protected. All right, the trader is vulnerable. You have to protect your traders. And um, I'm gonna get into that a little later. I think I'm gonna live with the trader. Huh? How does that sound? That sounds pretty cool. Live in trader. Um, there's new wildlife like cows, bulls, and ravens. Multiple new quests uh, that you can complete for skills and experience. Uh, over 20 new findable quests and more than 50 new ongoing quests that, could, that can be completed over time. There's new wandering hordes that get bigger over time and there is a ton more points of interest, man. I'm freaking hyped. I know you guys are hyped. Let's get into this. All right, survival single player, random gen. This will be my seed right here. Sleek hunting two, capital S, capital H two, no spaces. Um, these are my settings right there. If you care enough, go ahead and pause the video. They're my basic settings, and uh, it takes a long time to generate a world, so I'm going to pause the video, guys, and I'll see you in-game. All right, guys, <clears throat> here we are. Welcome to Ravenhurst 3.0. This has been a labor of love by many people. Huge thank you to Cinder, who has put in so many hours of testing decks for his friendship, Dan, Dan Capo, and his amazing advice on balances and errors, as well as Fallen Dice, uh, Cope, Copen Nub, um, Frantic Dan, Second Recon, Soul Breeze, Brandman, um, Azurin, and my awesome patient wife, Shorty Pants. Shorty Pants. Uh, without them, there would be no mod, Jax. Uh, thank you very much, Jax, for making this awesome mod. Um, this is, I read this before. This is all just basic stuff. Um, zombies, people are bit. Zombies are coming up. Uh, the dead are coming back to life and all that good stuff. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got first and foremost. Let's take a look at our quests. Okay, um, we've got the basic survival quest. That's easy. We've got to get some cotton. Uh, we've got to get some fragments, craft bedrolls, all that good stuff. All right, so we also want to stay in our immediate area. Um, so, because if you like, if you stay in this immediate area, uh, zombies will not spawn on you. Um, so you want to stay as close to your spawn point as you can. The problem is the one thing we're going to need first and foremost is cotton. And uh, cotton is not going to be, uh, you know, there's not going to be a ton in your area. You're probably going to have to venture out a little bit. Just try not to go too far. Pick up some rocks, um, get some feathers, punch some grass. You know, you know how we do, right? All right. So let's look for some more cotton. Oh, we got some more cotton over here. That is wonderful. We've already got a road. Uh, it looks like there's a town over there. I'm telling you guys, like the towns are everywhere. It's amazing. It's freaking amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and pick up some goldenrod. Let's get some more. Uh, let's get some more cotton. What do we got? Five of ten. We're halfway there. We're halfway there, people. All right. I think you can punch the cotton as well, but I tend not to punch my cotton. That's not. That's no way to treat cotton, right? Right. Okay. There we go. Now you get to craft the cotton into cloth fragments, like so. If you ever want to know how to set up to craft all the items, you hold down shift. And then, le and then left click, and it'll set up as many as you could possibly craft. Okay, well that's going. Let's uh, let's go ahead and loot some garbage here. Um, but one thing I love about these these mods, um, and especially when they're brand new, is I just want to loot everything, right? It's just freaking awesome. Just loot it all, loot everything. There might not be anything in there, but to hell with it. We're gonna loot it anyway. All right, so we got to make a bedroll. Bedroll is going to be your spawn place. Um, it's going to give you a place to spawn. That's why it's the first thing in the in the quest line. Makes total sense. These quests have been um, revamped. Um, they're not the same quest that you do in vanilla. They're not even the same quest you did um, in uh, Ravenhurst 2.12 or whatever it was. Um, also, 
binoculars. Not overly, not overly useful, but still pretty cool. I like to have binoculars. All right, the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and read this thing, this recipes list. We, there's all kinds of uh, things here. Most of these, I, I didn't really look closely at these, but I've been told most of these quests are roughly the same, roughly. Um, but the one thing, there's the average Joe crate, and that's basically one you could take if you don't want to get anything. Um, it's kind of like a hardcore version. Uh, we're not going to do that because that's crazy. We're going to go bladed weapons this time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that down like so. Take the key, unlock it, and we picked it up again because we didn't unlock it. I thought I, I did the little animation. Maybe I did the too quick. There we go. Must have did it too quick. All right, let's see what we get for our, our first quest. All right, so we got the class papers. Um, the sign, I'm going to scrap that right away. And this stuff is pretty nice. We're going to take all that with us. Let's go ahead and take a look at the at the um, class papers. All right, there we go. Now we're going to get this thing right here. A, a kukri? Kukri? Still not really sure how to say. I mean, I... I Kukri, I think, works. Um, Kukri. Kukri. I don't know. Maybe if I say it a few more times, it'll make sense. Anyway, let's go ahead and read that. We also got some forged iron with that. We got some uh, bandages right here. That is beautiful. The next thing we're going to do is make uh, a bunch of clothes for ourselves. Craft. 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 And craft. And while that's crafting up, I think what we'll do is we'll punch some more grass. And, uh, man, um, so yeah, I'm going to live with the trader, guys. I'm going to live with the trader. It's it's really cool because it's never been done before. Because um, traders have, like, you know, that protection thing. And you can't build there. You can't stay there. They kick you out. Um, I don't even know if they kick you out in this mod. I don't think they do. Because, because the protection is gone, I don't think the kicking out part is going to work. Um, so we'll see. I really, really want to stay with the traders, though. I think that'd be pretty freaking cool. Alright, well, the trader. Obviously, I'm only going to stay with one. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and read this paper right here. Um, just, oh, this is the paper that talks about... Oh, that other paper isn't... When I was when I first started the game, the second uh, text thing that I had up... You guys could pause that and read it if you want. This is the one that talks about the zombies coming back from the dead. It's all good. You could pause it and read it if you want. I've already read it. I want to get going, man. We'll get this, get this show on the road. Alright, let's go ahead and put our clothes on. There we go. Looking good. Now we're styling and profiling. Um, I think I'm going to need some more rocks. But I'm going to stay in this area as much as I can. Um, okay, so we got Kill Any Zombie. That's the quest from the... Uh, that Kill Any Zombie quest is from the quest uh, that we just read from the paper. We're going to go back to basic survival. Uh, toggle active. There we go. Alright, so we need some wood and sticks and all that good stuff. Um, did it give me a... Yep. Okay. So one of the quest update one of the quest updates gave me the stone axe, so that's nice. So let's go ahead and get some wood tree logs. What the hell are tree logs? Well, tree logs are what you get now when you break down trees. All right. And as far as I know, there's no there's no reason to have tree logs. Um, they you can craft them into wood. I guess you can't even craft them into wood. What you have to do is you have to scrap them. So as soon as you get the tree logs, you scrap them um, directly into wood. I don't know if there's plans. To make recipes with the tree logs or not. But, you know, that's where it is right now. So, uh, it's kind of weird that you would get tree logs. I mean, it makes sense you would get tree logs instead of... Uh, and let's go ahead and make some sticks. So, you scrap these to get sticks. 108 sticks will be fine. I'm going to go ahead and scrap these. And I'm going to continue breaking down this tree. Um, yeah, it makes sense to get tree logs and then get wood out of it. But, like, I, I don't really see the point. I think there's a, I think there's a uh, some kind of station... That could get you more wood per log. I think that's the idea. That you'll like you'll bring the wood home and put it in a station that'll get you more wood. Um I forget what it's called. There's a I can't remember what it's called. It's some kind of tree log wood maker thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't freaking know. We'll find out. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and craft that stuff. We're crafting some sticks as we as I speak. Should be done in a little bit. Crafting a hundred sticks. We're gonna need sticks for arrows anyway, so yeah, there's that. Um there's been a couple things changed in here. The most notable change that I noticed in, uh, as far as your skills go, is you can't get iron tools to level 30. That's the biggest, that's the biggest change I noticed. Um, so that's gonna, that's gonna make things a lot more interesting. I think we're gonna have to go with, um, gather wood. Okay. Yeah, so that's being scrapped. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll hold off on that. There we go. And then we gotta gather some small stones. So we could break this with this, with this, um... 
We could break the stone with the stone axe, but you don't want to do that, actually. They're, the stone axe is now useless. Not, not It's pretty useless against uh, the boulders. So what you got to do is you got to make a stone pickaxe. And when I was streaming, I was stuck on this. I was like, a stone pickaxe? I was like, what? You know, like, I was just, like, confused. I was like, Ooh. it was four years. Well, actually, it hasn't been four years of me making stone axes, but um, you get what I'm saying. It was, it was, um, it was jarring, to say the least. Okay, so uh, now that we've got that, what do we do next? Um, now we've got to get some small stones. So we're going to take our... That's not a, that's not an iron pickaxe. That's a stone pickaxe. Just remember that. So we're going to grab that, and now we're going to get some of this stuff. And someone told me if you duck, you lose less, you use less stamina. Um, so I'm going to duck, because why not? Okay, so my stamina is pretty low now, and I have everything I need. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a bow. And then we're going to make some arrowheads. How many can we make? 16? Yeah, let's make 16 arrowheads. And then we're going to continue breaking this. Now, you're going to need you're gonna need coal uh, to make the campfire now, guys. So just be aware of that. You're going to need three coal to make the campfire. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different places you can get it from. Uh, it, it, it tends to not drop much from the boulders as far as I can tell in early game. Um, I think I got one coal so far. No, I got two coal. Okay. Well, that's better than I did in my stream. In my stream, I got like, I got like no coal. I think I got like one piece of coal. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and favorite that and favorite that. We're gonna be using these uh, crappy arrows for quite a long time because we went the blade the blade class and um, oh for the blade class we also got this this um uh kukri kukri um yeah this thing is badass I think it's badass I think it's somewhere in between the knife and the machete as far as power goes. All right, so we're going to need to craft some iron. We're going to need to craft scrap iron nails. Okay, guys, get check this out. Uh, first of all, let's put the bow down there. Let's go ahead and load this up. Might be seeing some zombies pretty soon. All right, so check this out. You need nails now. Um, you absolutely 100% need nails to make wood frames. But here's the thing. Um, frame. Oh, look at that. Frame, 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 frame. Where's the wood frame? Should that be on the top? Uh, it's right there. There we go. Favorite that. Now, here's the thing, though. Um, here, get rid of that. Favorite. There. Good. Okay. So, they're nails, but they're scrap iron nails, right? Well, what's scrap iron nails? Well, they're easy to make. You just, they take uh, one iron. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and make 15 of those. Uh, we got a wooden club as part of one of our quest rewards. I'm going to just go ahead and scrap that. All right, so now that we got the nails, um, we can make the wood frames. We'll make 15. We're going to need them. And while those are being crafted, I'm going to continue breaking this out. Try and get that third coal piece. Um, someone said that Someone said that uh, the higher your stamina is, the better a chance you have at getting coal from these boulders. But as you can see, I'm getting barely anything from these boulders. Um, this is, you know, this is rough. There's a couple things we can do. There's a couple things. Basically, what's going on, guys, is we're going to be using stone tools for a large part of the Let's Play. Um, now, think about it like this, guys. You need level 30 to get iron tools, okay? I just did a Let's Play on Ravenhurst where I got to level... I got to... I did 25 parts of a Let's Play. We got up to episode 25, and I was only level 27. That whole Let's Play could have been nothing but stone tools. So, just, you know, let that sink in. Oh, cool. I got my third coal. Very good. Very good. All right, so we got that all done. Let's place the wood frames. And then we're going to have to upgrade them for the quest line. All right. And there we go. Okay. Very good. I want to break up some of this wood. I don't want to scrap too much of this wood because it takes time. Yeah, there we go. Scrap. There we go. Scrap some wood there. Okay, so now we have to... Okay, so we need... See, we need three lumps of clay for the campfire. Now, the thing that sucks about this is I'm going to want to place the campfire just to get the quest to move along, but I don't have a home yet. So that's kind of a bummer. Should I try and get a home before I place this thing? I see a building right there. I could probably stay there for at least a night or so. I don't know. That's a tough call. That's a tough call. How hard will it be to get more coal? I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll be that hard. I'm going to place it here to hell with it. Live a little, right? All right, so let's go ahead and place this here. Okay, and let's let's uh, let's start exploring now. I think the rest of the quests are are relatively easy. Yeah, we need to craft a simple box. Remember, uh, 
simple storage box. Remember, um, there's a huge progression now with boxes. Um, you're going to have much smaller boxes when you first start out. You could pick stuff up, like I said, backpacks and stuff, which we will be doing. Um, and as you go along, you'll get better and better boxes. It's very, uh, it's very much like uh, War of the Walkers in that way. War of the Walkers does the same thing. All right, now we need to place it. I'll just place it here. I don't care. There we go. Okay. See, it's in the school bus, man. All right, so now we need to craft a wooden spear. All right, so let's go ahead and craft a wooden spear. I've used a wooden spear. It is incredibly weak, like ridiculously weak. Um, I'm not really sure why. I just wish it was better. Uh, yeah, it's got range, but man, it is weak sauce. So, and you can make a better spear, but you're going to need an advanced forge before you get, or no, an advanced workbench or forge. Honestly, I don't remember which one. You're not going to have it anytime soon. That's all I'm saying. All right, we got to craft a stone shovel. So let's go ahead and craft that stone shovel. There we go. And we'll loot. Um, the next thing we're going to have to do after the stone shovel, I believe, is make flagstone and place flagstone. So we're going to need some clay. Probably going to need some more stone as well. Oh, a fire truck. That's neat. Oh, is this clay? I think this is clay. Okay. Oh, we actually have the small stone. Cool. So we just need 12 clay, and then we'll replace the flagstone. Flagstone into cobblestone is the building choice uh, of vanilla, but it's not the building choice in this mod. In this mod, you want to go wood... I thought I heard something. In this uh, mod, you want to go wood into um, iron, like walls. Uh, flagstone. Flag oh, no, I have to make cobblestone first. Duh. All right, so you got to make the cobblestone, then the flagstone. I want to loot that. I want to loot that fire truck. What's that building over there, man? That building looks interesting. I have to check that out. What I really want to do uh, first and foremost is find a trader, and then that's going to be where I'm going to live. I won't live there right away. I'll wait until I can like defend it. Um, in the meantime, I'll probably stay away from it. But that's at least I'll know where it is. And don't forget, traders are now in towns. Scrap and scrap and what are we doing? Um, flagstone block. Flagstone block. There we go. That's fine. Uh, how many arrows we got? 19. Can we make more arrows yet? Oh, there's a deer. Uh, no, we can't. We need more feathers. I'm going to leave that deer alone. It would take too long and too many arrows. It's just, it's just not worth it. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in there. That is very nice. All right, let's place the flagstone blocks. And is that going to be it for the quest? I think it might be. Is that it? That is it. Cool. We got five points. You earned skill points. Yes, I do know that. Um, first one's going to go into sexy T-Rex. There we go. And now we have another quest line that is going to be advanced survival. Ooh. Then um, there's one here for uh, Jax wants me to what? Um, I need 10,000 stuff of everything. Um, we got advanced. We got a lot of quests here. We'll look at that stuff at night. Um, all, you, all you gotta know, uh, actually, look, we'll look at a couple of them now. Okay, so this one kill. Oh, okay, so I have to kill any zombie using a spear. Kill any zombie. Um, yeah, kill any zombie with a spear and kill any zombie. All right, guys. So let's check out this building, and we'll we'll try and kill some zombies with a spear. But like I said, man, it's really it was really difficult. I was having some problems with it. Um, because you kind of like knock down the zombies with your good weapons and then use the spear to like finish them off. And, oh, look at this. Oh, there we can get some coal. See that burnt tree right there? We can get some coal from there. Hopefully I remember. All right, what is this place? All right, this, this looks interesting. It doesn't look like there's a ton of good loot in here, but it looks pretty interesting. So let's see what we got. Oh, Dukes. I like me some Dukes. Gotta find me a trader. That's what I need. Um, oh, cool. Our first piece of twine. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's see what we got here. Come on, come on. Uh, I think we're going to have to invest in Faster Eddie sooner rather than later. Because, um, <laughs> oh boy, is that a landmine? I think that's a landmine. I don't know. Oh, that's a good find. Oh boy, that's a good find. That is a really good find. Okay, so check this out, guys. See the little thing right here? Boom. We now have a uh, storage container. All right, so that's locked. Even if, even if that door, even if these doors weren't locked... I would just break through the window. Those um, <laughs> those landmines are a complete waste of time. <laughs> Who's gonna go through those doors when the, when the windows are so much easier? 
But now that I'm thinking about landmines, I gotta be a little bit careful around here, I think. Um, yeah, I don't wanna be stepping on the landmines, obviously. Take that. Remember, uh, you know, storage containers. Uh, okay. Oh, you can take the briefcase as well. Or briefcase, suitcase. Oh, man, wow. This is, um, this is, a uh, you know, pretty decent looting in the beginning. Huh. All right. I heard that. I don't know where it's coming from, but I know I heard it. Nope. It sounds like he's on the roof or something. He jumped. I don't know why he would be jumping. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what's going on out here. Yep. Soldier's on the roof. How do we get up to the roof? Can we get up through the roof from the outside? No, nah, looks like it's got to be from the inside. Oh, there we go, from the garage. Ah! Whoa, what the hell? What, are, what is that? You see that right there? What is that? Are those up, upside down landmines? Those are upside down landmines, you dirty, rotten scoundrels. Oh, that's right. We gotta, well, we got to kill her with the spear. We'll try and knock her down with this and finish her off with the spear. Okay. All right, that worked. That worked out nicely. Got more Q hats. I love me some Q hats. All right. Yeah, those are upside down um, landmines. Sons of beeswax. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna keep going. We gotta watch. We gotta really watch out for more landmines. Yeah, those upside down landmines. If that's what they were. Ooh, nice. Are you gonna drop down here or not? Yeah. Whatever. Stay up there, dummy. Okay. Man, we're getting lucky with the uh, twine too. It's been a pretty decent loot run so far. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do these two first two videos of the series back to back. Um, one's going up on Saturday. This is that's the one you're watching right now, obviously. Um, the second one is gonna go up on Sunday. I'm gonna do back to back videos um, because Jax was nice enough to give me an early copy. I'm really excited about it. And um, you know, let me know how excited you guys are in the comments, man. Leave the uh, thumbs ups and the the comments. Let me know how how hyped you are for for the return of Ravenhurst. You know, some people were telling me in the comments. On some of my past videos, they were a little upset that I got rid of the, the hardcore mods. Well, one of them's back, people. One of them is back. I'm really nervous about freaking landmines now. Um, should we take these to sell? Yes, we should. Easy enough, right? Uh, nothing. Oh, man, my first bookcase, nothing. Let's see if this safe's open. Sometimes these safes are open. Now that one's locked. When I was streaming, I, I got a safe that was open. We all right? We're all right. Let's keep going. Keep a come on, Cage. Landmines. Keep landmines in your brain. Yeah. So I'm gonna do these two videos back to back. So if you give me any tips or anything, um, you know, just be aware that I've done them back to back. So if I didn't follow your tips or anything, it's just not because I didn't read them. It's because I just didn't see them. All right. All right. So that goes into the that goes into the um, the garage. We gotta try and get around that garage um, without going through landmines. How about right through here? Oh, huh, that's weird. It's making stone sounds, but it's wood. That is really interesting. Okay. Got ourselves a cooking pot. All right. Things are looking up. Uh, we got a quest item. A couple of easy gas barrels. I know they're oil barrels, but I have to call them gas barrels because that's what I'm going to get them for. Uh, you know what? I don't need you sneaking up on I me. Mean, I'm freaking in there. Ah, uh. oh, yeah. Suck it. Uh, he can't use the spear from too close. This is the tough part where you got to try and finish them off like this. Yeah, you know what? Nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna deal with that. <laughs> it takes too long. The spear just does like next to no damage, and I have no stamina. There you go. All right. If I only have one, I'll try the spear. Now the spear has the range, but honestly, it doesn't feel like that much more range. I don't know. Maybe. 
Oh yeah, that's that's pretty good range. I'm just used to getting closer, I guess. Okay. Alright, lady. I think that lady's off the roof now. Alright. Uh yeah, we'll uh just get up on that. Eh, you know what? I think I'm gonna call this one here. Oh, I, I wanna get these two videos done in one day. Oh my goodness. Did I just miss a Did I just miss a mine? Damn, how did that happen? Freaking lucky, that's how that happened. Come on, you. Come on. Come on! My timer went off, lady. Don't you care? Alright, you know what? Alright. I really like to get the kill with this spear. Come on, man. Ah. Well, this is taking forever. There she goes. I earned that one. All right, guys. All right, my timer did go off. I am going to call this one here. What's on the roof? I don't know. You're going to have to check out next video. Cliffhanger! All right. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.